Hi guys, I am Mutiakwa and I am back again with Max XYZ and today I'll be taking you through how to construct a frequency polygon uh, from frequency frequency polygon from data handling alright uh, frequency polygon uh, is constructed using a line graph by joining out the point it's a line graph let me just note that down it's a line graph and it's constructed by joining the midpoint of the histogram with a straight line then it's, it's a midpoint of the histogram of the histogram then the third point about frequency polygon is that it must be a closed shape that means that it should start from zero point from zero point and end up at zero and end up at an axis i mean to say oh that what I meant is that it must be it must start from a zero point uh, of y axis and end up at an axis again, which literally means that it must start from the x axis and end up at the y axis. Okay, let me just take this out. It should start from the axis, from axis and end up at axis. All right, uh, there are two ways of, of constructing a frequency polygon. First, you can use the midpoint of the histogram by using the midpoint of your histogram or using the midpoint of the frequency table but and just draw straight from the frequency table and construct a frequency polygon before by, by not first drawing the histogram. Then let's um, look at an example on how on how to construct a frequency polygon okay let me just use this one all right from the example that we did when we were doing a histogram uh histogram constructing a histogram you can check out that lesson on how to construct a, a histogram we'll use the very same example to construct uh, the frequency polygon then the example was about the letters of grade 12 who were asked to measure the, 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 the length of the leaves in their biology class. Then the length, uh, so it was the length in millimeters and we had frequency there. And this time we'll also have the midpoint. All right. Uh, the length, frequency, and also the midpoint. So between the length which was greater than 20 and less or equals to 40, they were 6. So the midpoint, that means that we must add 20 and 4 to find the middle number between 20 and 40, which is the, uh, which is the, which is the me median, yes, the median number between 20 and 40, of which it will be 30. And then the next one, it will be 40. The length which was greater than 40 and less or equals to 60, that was 8. And the number between those two is 50. So, and another one it was between 60 less length or equals to 80. And then it was 80 less less or equals to 100. And it was 100 less than length and length less than 120. So it was 6, 8 and it was 9 it was 12 it was 5 then the midpoint is between 20 and 40 is 30 between 40 and 60 it's 50 and between 60 and 80 it's 70 and between 80 and 100 it's 90 and between 100 and 120 it will be 110 so what we are going to put in our graphs this one it will be our our y axis and this one it will be our x axis so these two are the only thing that we need to construct our frequency polygon so i will just uh, erase this side so that i can get space okay let me just move this closer to the midpoint all right let me remove everything 
So here we had frequency. Okay, let me use the other marker, guys. This one is not working correctly. Sorry. It's frequency, and this is midpoint. So our frequency here, it was uh, six, eight. It was 6, 8, 9, 12, and 5. And our midpoint is 30. It's 50. It's 70. 70. And we have 90. And we have 110. Then from here, to construct our frequency polygon, remember in our x-axis, we have... This is our x-axis. This is our y-axis. In our y-axis, we have the frequency. Oh, sorry, guys. Let me just write nicely. This is the frequency. And this side, we have the midpoint, which is the length, which is length in millimeters. In millimeters. All right. Now, remember that the frequency polygon must start from an axis and end up at an axis so that you can have a closed shape so this is our origin which is 0 is to 0 and then from here we have 10 we have 20 we have 30 we have 40 50 60 70 80 90 it won't fit in so 110 will be left out but it's fine i just want to show you how the graph will look uh, like but you will finish up the rest then this side we have one we have two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay we won't be able to draw 12 because we in this because of space so 30 and 6 this is 30 and this is our 6 so this is our point and then we have 8 and 50 this is 8 this is 50 and our 8 is here so that that would be 8 and 50 so it's there and we also have 70 and 9 so this is 70 and this is 9 there and we had uh 90 and 12 okay we don't have 12 this side so we we'll leave the 12 and we have 110 okay that would be 100 and that would be 110. We have 105, which is, this is 5, so it will have a point somewhere there. Then, remember I told you that with frequency polygon, you must start from an axis and end up at an axis. So we'll have a, we'll have a straight line there. It should be a straight line. It should not care. It's just that this one is not drawn to scale. That's why we can't really see um, uh, on how it will look like. But then, this is just a rough sketch to show you how it will look like if it has been drawn in speed. Remember that this one was 20, but we can already see the, the trend on this one, that the difference between the data in here, in the midpoint, it's 20. This is 30, 15, 70, 90, and 110. The difference in here, it's 20. That means that the graph should have started maybe from uh, 10. So our first point, it will be there. It will be 10. All right, and then our ending point, remember it must start from an axis and end up at an axis. That means that our last point, 110 plus 20, it should have ended up at 130, which is there. So it will be 130. Remember, I didn't draw up the, the, uh, the 90 and 12, which was going to be somewhere up there. It was going to be somewhere up there and then connect up with this one. It's a close shape now. This one is just a rough sketch of how your frequency polygon was look was going to look like if it has been drawn into skin. Remember, the frequency polygon, the most important thing is to remember that it must start from an axis and end up in, at an axis. It should be a closed shape like this one. Then, you must look at your midpoint on the trend uh, at the midpoint on how it, it, uh, the sequence of, it, of, of the midpoint, the difference in the sequence of the midpoint. It's 30, it's 50. It's 70, it's 20, it's 110. So this one is a linear sequence with a difference of 20. What you do, you must just subtract 20 from this one, which will give you 10. And then it must start from 10, which is at an axis. At an x axis, it must be at 10. 
and then also it must end up at 130 by just adding 20 to 110 which will give you 130 then we know that our frequency polygon it's a close shape and it will look something like this it's just that remember this one is not drawn into scale and another thing remember that your frequency polygon the midpoint in here you can actually draw the frequency polygon from the histogram by just joining the midpoint of the bars on the histogram but another way of drawing it is by using the midpoint of the frequency table of what this is what we did here we did not first draw the histogram we just went through ahead by drawing the midpoint of the frequency of the free of the frequency table okay uh, remember to name your axis when you are drawing your graph and also level them out and put out si units if uh, where required like in the length you must also put out that the length is in millimeters because that's the si unit of the length that we were that were measured all right and and again and, and another thing with um with frequency polygon you must always um join out all the dots even if there are outliers you must join them uh, in them when when you are drawing the graph uh like this one you can you can see that it was when it got there the other graph the, the other point went up and then also went down again so it, you can tell there were outliers but we joined them all together all right i hope you understood and if you have any question you drop it in the comment no then we'll have a follow up on it and remember to subscribe to Maths xyz so that you can get a daily notification when we upload videos and remember to share with your classmates with your learners and also with your loved ones and uh, uh that that's it for this lesson guys